In today's video, I'm going to show you my approach to using a wah pedal to get some funky rhythm sounds. Let's get into it. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my personal approach to using the wah pedal. Now on the floor, I have my GCB95F from Jim Dunlop. It's pretty much a bog standard wah pedal. No matter what you have, the concepts will pretty much be the same. There might be some variations out there, but odds are they're gonna work very similar to this, irrespective of the brand. So one of the interesting things about the wah pedal, one thing I've learned over the years, is the less you play, the better it sounds. And it's all about the rhythm hand and the foot. It's got nothing to do with the hand that's on the neck. So if you're right-handed, it's more to do with your right hand and the foot than it is your chord hand, so to speak. But there's gonna be a few things in here that I think will give you some tips on how to get better sounds out of your wah pedal. So let's get into it. So to kick things off in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can play nothing and have it sound super funky. And this will show you that it's all in the rhythm hand and all in the foot. So I'm going to play an A minor, but what I'm not going to do is actually push down on the frets. I'm just going to mute all the strings. So I'm literally just, while I am positioning my fingers on the chord, I'm not actually pushing down. They're just basically sitting flat on the strings, just muting them. Here we go. So this is how that sounds. As you can see, at the end of that accent or groove, I was adding the A minor, and all I was doing was pushing down on the strings right at the end. So let's try that again. So as you could hear, I accented the chord with my toe down, which allowed more of the top end to come through, and it makes it really obvious that that's the chord. Now, this is all in the strumming hand and in the foot. The coordination between the two is really important. What I would suggest if you're gonna get into playing some funk stuff, learn the 16th grooves and just play something really simple that's got a really cool strumming pattern, something like. One and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two. Think like that, that's the kind of strumming pattern you want. Now, you can get into some of the cool stuff that the wah pedal can do. So if you've got a riff that you play without the wah pedal, like... Just something simple like that, you can incorporate the wah and it sounds super funky. Notice I'm using the wah pedal in this particular section just on the beat. So where the, where the snare would basically hit is where my toe is going forward. It's just like tapping my foot. I'm using the exact same fundamental principle of just tapping my foot in time to use the wah over that groove. So here we go again.
Then I can start throwing in chords and to keep it simple, just tap your foot. That's a really great way of learning how to use the wah pedal on time. If you're not sure how, get a backing track and jam along. This is the best way of getting your foot moving just on time and keep it on the beat until you can get around, you know, getting the coordination to do both. I think it takes a little while sometimes to get the coordination between what you're doing with your rhythm hand, you know, and your chord hand, and then also with your foot. But if you keep the wah pedal on time, it's gonna be a huge help in your early development of getting better at the wah pedal. Now, there's a whole lot of cool things you can do in terms of rhythmically with a wah pedal. I'm not gonna to get too involved with it right now, but one of the great things I like to do is mix up the palm muting and also mixing up the chords with a little bit of single note stuff. So I'll go like. Now there's a really cool thing that happens when you start experimenting around with the wah pedal and putting it in different positions. I like to sort of connect what my foot's doing to how it sounds vocally. I think that's important with the wah pedal as well. So as you bring it down or forwards, think wah, you know, in your own mind, right? Wah, wah, wah. So I'm, I can hear and predict what's coming out of my guitar based on the fact I know exactly where the wah pedal is gonna be when it makes a certain sound. Forwards is always the wah section where it goes high and back rolls out or sweeps back the other way. So this is a really cool way of keeping that same groove but also then mixing up the accents with the wah pedal. So I'll just play the same thing but I'm gonna change up what I do with my foot. So before I was doing this. <laughs> So notice I was sort of extending the down portion with my toe. So I was going slower and then back. So I'm keeping it all in time rhythmically, but the wah pedal is giving me the sound. All I'm really doing my, with this hand right now is this, right? That's what that sounds like without the wah. And with it. So the same thing that's really simple can sound great just by using your foot. I'm playing exactly the same way I would without the wah pedal, just with it. Now, of course, you can mix up the intensity of how fast and how slow you want to use the wah. And one thing that I love to do is rather than just playing always on the groove like this, you can essentially use the wah pedal as a tool to give you one, you'll hear this in disco music, one big sweep down. So I'll show you how that sounds, ready? And then I'll do a couple normal ones and then I'll, I'll use it. Wah pedal on. Now have a listen to the difference. Sounds almost like a flamenco thing there. <laughs> So to get some of those sweeps as you're playing rhythm guitar might take a little bit of time to get that coordination, but my suggestion is start as simple as you can. I'm gonna play far less with my rhythm guitar hand now and just show you how it sounds, keeping it really simple. So we'll start with the strings muted and eventually I'll open up some of the strings and play them properly. So here we go. So don't be scared just to get your foot on the wah and keep time with your foot. That's the first step into getting better at playing sort of funk and grooves when it comes to using a wah pedal. 
once I worked that out, I was like, okay, so now I've got the freedom to actually just strum and do whatever I like with my hand. As long as my foot's on time, that's a start. And then once you get better at it, you can start doing some really cool effects. I'm gonna leave a link through to Huey Morgan's video up here. He's got this ability to make it sound like BB King's tremolo. He can, he calls it the happy foot. I can't play that fast with my foot. For whatever reason, I, I can't actually get the wire pedal to go that quickly. It's definitely worth a listen. And his advice, I'm not gonna spoil it, is invaluable. So go check that out. But I really feel the first steps into getting into playing some funky grooves with a wire pedal is just to get your foot on time and don't play too much when it comes to your rhythm guitar. Don't be scared to mute the strings and just wrap them because in the context of a mix, it works really well. Thank <laughs> you.